Hi, I'm Kingsley. I'm pleased to share with you the new features in the Agile Assets 7.3 release and the value they add to your experience with the Agile Assets application. This new version is an accumulation of several smaller releases that we've issued since the 7.2 release. Since introducing the Work Manager mobile app in version 7.2, we've made several updates to the functionality of the app. We've also added a new work order history window. We refreshed the user interface of the work order creation wizard. We added a new screen for creating inspection teams. We updated bridge optimization analysis to include the deterioration and modeling of bridge elements. We added a security mechanism to the GIS Explorer catalog for better content management. We added support for Esri image services. We also added support for integrating Esri's mobile collection app, Collector. We added the ability to edit the location of features on the map that is bound to a data window. We upgraded Jasper reports to the latest version of Jasper server supported by the application provider. And finally, we implemented several under the hood performance improvements and bug fixes. The Work Manager mobile app was introduced in version 7.2 and primarily benefits the crew lead so the lead and their team can record work in the field where the work is done. The app also benefits the maintenance supervisor who can now quickly create work for the crews and review their work. These are the list of updates we've made to the app since the initial release. Now you can create and edit work orders in the field. You can add the location to a day card you can also add the equipment operator to the equipment day card. We've integrated Active Directory authentication. You can now report feedback directly to the product team using the in-app feedback option, along with the other updates we've made. The new work order history screen benefits the maintenance supervisor. It allows them to quickly search for and view closed work orders for backwards-looking analysis of the work performed by the crews. The screen allows for defining a search criteria, which can include the whole district or a subset of it, defining an activity type, a specific route or section, and a time frame to be analyzed. Once the results are displayed, the details of a selected work order can be reviewed. The work order creation wizard is one of the most used dialogues in the web application. It primarily benefits the maintenance supervisor or a district's office, offices clerk who creates work orders in the system. With this release, we've revamped the look and feel of the dialogue, as well as improved the user experience to require fewer clicks when creating work orders. With the new user interface, the information required to create a work order can be entered in any order. Also, when a parent field is selected, the related child fields are filtered to show only the relevant options. So for example, when a project selection is made, only the asset types defined in that project are displayed for selection in the asset type field. The same goes for the selection of an activity for a selected asset type. Also, if you start the work order creation by selecting an activity, the applicable asset types and projects will be filtered based on the selected activity. We added a new inspection teams screen to allow a bridge administrator to create teams of inspectors essentially simulating how inspections are conducted in the field in teams of inspectors and their assistants. So rather than assigning an inspection candidate to one inspector, the bridge administrator can assign inspections to the team, so any member of this team can access the inspection data to complete the inspection. The bridge administrator can quickly specify a name for the team, assign members to the team, and identify the administrative areas the team is responsible for. Existing teams can be edited to update members or administrative areas. Inspection candidates can then be assigned to the team that has been created. A recent federal mandate requires the collection of granular inspection data for bridge elements during the inspection, which helps to accurately judge the overall bridge condition 
and also to predict future conditions of the bridge. We've enhanced the bridge analysis process so a bridge engineer can define parameters for modeling the deterioration of individual bridge elements or an aggregation of elements. The bridge engineer can easily generate preservation or rehabilitation projects or treatments that keep the elements and the apparent bridge in a desired condition state. This screen shows a deterioration model for a selected element. The parameters can be adjusted by element based on the characteristics of that element. This screen is the detailed result of an executed optimization scenario. An optimization scenario specifies an objective to maintain a bridge network or a subset of bridges at a specified condition with a budgetary or some other constraint. The system then generates projects or treatments that satisfy the stated objectives and constraints. In this case, the treatments are generated at the element level. To help a GIS administrator better manage the availability and access to content in the GIS Explorer catalog, we added security controls similar to those for reports in the system. A GIS administrator can select the content that should be publicly available or available to certain departments, administrative areas or application roles, as well as users in non-administrative roles to have private folders with content that's available for their individual use. These mechanisms greatly streamline the catalog and content, which allows the administrator to focus on other important aspects of their duties. This screen shows how a GIS administrator can share a folder and its contents with specific user roles over an administrative area. Only users belonging to those administrative areas or assigned to those roles will be able to access the content. This screen shows how an administrator can make the contents of the folder public for everyone in the organization to view or edit, or define read-write permissions for a specific folder. To aid the GIS administrator in producing content for consumption by other departments and in performing analysis of aerial imagery, we've added the ability to create a map layer from a published Esri image service. This screen is showing a map layer created from an image service of the coastline of a spit after a hurricane. This can be layered for a before and after analysis to see how the coastline has changed after the event occurred. The Esri Collector is a mobile app that enables offline or online collection of inventory or inspections for asset classes using simple forms. To aid an asset inventory manager in keeping their inventory up to date, as well as being able to see the spatial location of assets, We've integrated the deployment of Collector so that collected inventory or inspections data are synced directly to the associated dataset in the Agile Asset System. This integration also enables any existing business rules for an asset class to be applied to the collected data. This screen shows an inventory form for hydraulic structures. This collector screen shows an inspection and work request collection form with the option to attach a photo of an inspected asset. This form also allows inspector to view the last inspection report for that asset. In version 7.2, we added the ability to edit the location and attributes of features in the GIS Explorer map screen. To provide an inventory manager with better visibility into the location of their asset inventory, the bound map screen shows a spatial representation of assets in the data grid. So while reviewing the details of a specific asset, if the inventory manager determines that the spatial location is inaccurate, Rather than going to the GIS Explorer map for that asset class, they can edit the location in the same inventory screen by simply selecting the location and dragging it to the new location for a point asset or updating the beginning or end mile point for a linear asset or event. This screen shows a data grid with map screen for a bridge inventory, which are represented by point features on the map. Finally, we updated the Jasper version of Jasper reports in the application to bring it up to date with the current version available from TIPCO, the application provider. This version update will benefit all users in the application that create or view reports. 
The new version supports interactive reports and makes it easy to create new or ad hoc reports. Reports can be exported to a wide array of options, essentially the Microsoft Office suite of apps, or a report can be exported as an image. The version also allows the deployment of reports creation and execution to a separate server, which can help improve the application's performance, since these activities no longer bog down the application server. This screen shows a report in the line plot, with the option and dialog to change the representation from the set of available chart types. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about the version or the Agile Assets family of products, visit us at agileassets.com. Thank you.